Hello people and welcome back to uh, the next video in um, my um, demonstration of um, the new uh, Dyson V8 that uh, I purchased yesterday from Currys. Um, this machine was um, on special offer at the time, um, which I said in my unboxing. Uh, they're currently still available in Currys for 369 and uh, for what you get in the package, I think that's uh, pretty good. Um, well, a lot of people would beg to differ with me, I suppose, saying that Dyson's are very expensive, but um, you do tend to get rather a, a lot in the package. Uh, so, for the, the end of the unboxing uh, yesterday, um, what happened was that um, I had it out of the box, and unfortunately, um, there wasn't any charge in the machine, which is somewhat unusual for these because the other two I've had before have both worked straight out of the bag, so I wasn't able to do any, uh, you weren't able to see it working yesterday, but uh, anyway I charged it up uh, following the video and uh, after about uh, half an hour or so it started working, so the battery lights were flashing and after about four to five hours it was uh, fully charged. So I pushed it round in the room here and it, uh, it worked fine with all the floor heads on, so I'm, I seem to be happy enough at the moment that uh, I do have a working machine, which is pretty good. I uh, also had a few chats with people on my unboxing video in the comments section about uh, their experiences when they bought their V8s, and they were generally happy with it um, as well. So in this video what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the, um, all the components that we get in the, uh, the package in the V8 Total Clean because uh, you get uh, various different packages of V8s as, uh, as people would, would realise. There's a lot of videos on YouTube about the V8 Absolute uh, and about the V8 Animal which are the two most common um, packages but Currys do uh, an exclusive which is also available on the Dyson website as well um, but uh, Currys do one which is uh, very similar to the Absolute model called the Total Clean and that does include a couple of extra tools uh, that aren't available with the Absolute such as the tool bag there and uh, the uh, flexible crevice tool. We'll go into all that when we have a look at the machine. And then I'm going to do some demonstrations on picking up some dirt um, using the heads and uh, we'll see what we think about the machine. Okay, so enough of me talking um, from this stance now. What we're going to do is get the camera down here and we're going to start having a look at uh, the machine. Right, we've a lot to get through in this half an hour, so um, I might have to be a little bit quicker um, than I uh, usually am. Uh, so, you know, it's a question of like uh, when you when you look at all this, uh, it's, it's it's rather a comprehensive package. Now, the only thing that isn't here, this is everything basically that uh, you get in the box, bar one thing, which is the wall unit. Now. The wall unit is what you mount the machine in and you can charge to, you can choose to have the charger in the wall unit so it's charging every time you put it in there or you can just have the wall unit stand alone as somewhere to store the machine. Now because I'm lacking space in this house um, at the moment my only other space in the kitchen is um, not suitable for this wall unit so what I've had to do is to mount it in the living room. Now most people would probably choose not to have the machine mounted in the living room, but um, as I am mad about hoovers, that is the channel name, that is my hobby, that's my, uh, my, what my interest is, I uh, don't mind having the vacuum cleaner in the living room, but all you need to do is mount this charger or uh, wall unit anywhere that you find convenient. And most people would probably have it in the kitchen or in the utility room or in a, or in a cupboard maybe. But what you need to do, if you want to uh, put the charger in it, is you need to have it close to a socket which I've got down there and I thought this was rather a, a good location because as I say it's got the socket there and there's a bit of chunking that comes up the wall you can see the charger there which is plugged in it comes through that chunking and it comes out underneath that speaker across the wall and then up to the wall unit here and what it does it runs through the back of the uh, charger it comes into the charger at the bottom there runs through the back and then it comes through the hole there the wire there and then into this little port here and you push your jack plug into there and so every time you put the machine in it puts it on charge it also has two spaces here for you to store your tools so that's the wall charger but one thing to note is that Dyson don't supply the fixings so if you want to uh, screw it to the wall you need to put your own screws 
and wall plugs or cavity wall fixings. This is just a uh, partition wall, so I was able to put um, some cavity fixings and just screw it in firmly, and that's all there is to it. But you need to have it sufficiently off the ground, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's hanging in there later. So, what do we get in the package? This, as I say, you get your three motorised heads, which is the mini motorised head. You get the carpet brush, which is uh, also motorised. It's 50 watts, a uh, very powerful floor head. It has um, carbon fibre filament bristles and also uh, nylon bristles. This is the fluffy head. Uh, they cut the soft roller, which is uh, used for solely for cleaning uh, non-carpeted areas, such as uh, linoleum or stone tiles or hardwood floors. And uh, it's a pretty good uh, floor head because it doesn't mark surfaces. It's got that soft roller on and also picks up all the, uh, the debris without scattering. Well, that's the aim. That's what Dyson say, that it's uh, good for that. And from the other demos I've seen of this so far on YouTube, it is pretty good. Then we've got the uh, the universal tool here, which is uh, basically a um, dusting brush and um, what do they call it now? It's like a scoop, isn't it? Which uh, this is the most common tool that you use in handheld mode if you're going to use it in your kitchen. So if you spilt something on the worktop, for instance, you'd use it in that setting and just go over it to sucker whatever you've uh, spilt on the worktop with. And then you can basically um, press that button and uh, slide. Again, this is pretty difficult for me now with, it, with, with only having the uh, camera in one hand. But you basically slide that up and click it in place and uh, you've got a dusting brush then. Okay. And that's pretty good, that tool. <clears throat> then we've got uh, just a standard crevice tool here, which uh, you'd find in many, uh, most um, vacuum cleaners these days. It has the quick release uh, button on the handle here. Um, <clears throat> This is uh, what basically slots into the end of the machine. You can put it into the end of the wand as well for going up to your uh, coving there, up high on the ceilings for getting cobwebs down. And again, more about that later. <laughs> We're just having a little overview here of, uh, of what we get in the package first. This uh, is basically the swan neck, which is uh, what they use for the up top tool. And basically that goes on top of the uh, wand there and then you fit your uh, dusting brush into the end of there and again I'll demonstrate that later as well but at the moment as I say we're just looking at the individual parts uh, so that uh, flexes in any direction you want basically you can um, twist it round like this and then back round like that and again I'll show that working in a bit um, this part here is the uh, flexible crevice tool this um, pushes out and extends and again it's a bit tricky with one hand what I'm going to do I'm going to put the camera down a bit later on and then uh, I'll demonstrate all these things but basically that pushes out like so and um, you can get down in uh, narrow spots with that like down the side of the washing machine or down the side of the fridge and it comes complete as well with a little uh, dusting brush attachment uh, that you can get up high with, maybe on doing on top of uh, curtain rails or on Venetian blinds or anything like that, and that just clicks into the end of there like so. So it gives you, if you put it on the end of the rod there, you've got a really nice long reach with that. So again, you could use that for uh, dusting up on the skirting boards with, or you could use it for dusting up on the ceiling. So anywhere where you, you need it to be uh, a long reach. And I suppose it would be quite useful really for doing around uh, skirting board areas with that. So the mini motorised tool is uh, basically the same as what you get with the uh, other Dyson uh, animal package. Uh, you get it in the Absolute as well, so this is supplied with uh, all three of the V8s. It's the newer style one which has the um, continuous rows of uh, nylon bristles on the brush roll there. And I'll be doing another video um, a little bit later of um, the differences and similarities between the V6 and the V8 and what you get with it. Because I've got a V8, uh, sorry, a V6 Absolute in the back, um, they, and I'm going to do another video showing the similarities and differences. So that's the uh, mini turbo tool, and that's useful for doing upholstery and stairs. I'll be demonstrating that in a bit. This is basically your uh, main carpet head. This is very similar again to uh, what was uh, on you find on the V7. You also find it on the V6 Absolute, on the V6 Animal Extra, and uh, the V6 Total Clean. 
basically it's a direct drive cleaner head. It has the uh, motor built inside the brush roll, uh, which is why it's uh, very compact and you can get it into tight spaces. It has the uh, rows, continuous rows of uh, the red bristles here, which are for carpets. They are what uh, give the beating action against the carpet and uh, pull the dirt up. And then you have these uh, black uh, soft bristles here, which are the carbon fibre filaments. And uh, you're supposed to be able to use these on hard wood floors or hard floors. Not so suitable with linoleum though, I wouldn't have thought. Um, I do have the issue with my lino in that uh, anything like this just gets sucked up to the floor head and uh, it loses suction. Which is why that roller head is better for linoleum. Much better in fact. But um, basically uh, that is what's supplied on the animal version, but uh, that is not supplied on the animal version. Only on the absolute and the total clean for hard floors. So if you had the animal version you'd have to use this on hard floors. Whilst it will work, that's a better head to go for. So if you've got lots of hard floors, always go for the absolute or the total clean. This is better for carpets, this floor head. It's 50 watts, so it's a powerful floor head. So when they say it's got 150% more brush bar power than the V6 Animal, what they're basically saying is because this is 50 watts, it's 150% more powerful than the 20 watt floor head that's supplied uh, with the older V6, which is the, the smaller type of... Um, but it's still the same width, but it's like a, a smaller diameter brush roll, and that's only 20 watts. That's where they get this 150% more brush bar power from. On the V7, uh, it's a 35 watt floor head. It's the same as this, but 35 watts, so not quite as powerful. So again, they have to make a bit of compromise on the V7 to make it run for longer with, a, with the same size battery as the V6. Right, so those are the um, the main heads there. This is going to just a quick look at the uh, the fluffy head here, which is um, sort of a microfiber sort of fleecy uh, nylon effect uh, rub, uh, sort of roller here, which uh, basically spins around as it goes across hard floors and picks up um, fine dust and large chunks of debris and throws them up the uh, large uh, dust channel at the back. This does differ from older versions of this in the fact that this does not have the uh, blue roller on the back which most of the other fluffy heads used to have in the uh, in the past. I'm not quite sure why this is. I did try and phone uh, Dyson before I did the video but unfortunately I was stuck in a queue for over 10 minutes and not able to get through. They told me they were very busy and uh, I just thought well we'll have to phone at a less busy time but I would like to know why that floor why that's different to the uh, the older ones. Maybe it's just a revision I don't know. But the old ones used to come with the two rollers on, this has only got the one. Then as I say, you have your charger that comes in the box, which you can use standalone. It basically, you take the charger and you plug it into the back, into here, of your handheld unit, and you can charge it standalone. But if you do use this charger in that dock, it's fixed in then, and you'd have to take it off the wall. So that limits you, as you can't take it out anywhere with you and you'd have to buy another charger. Now fortunately I've got more than one charger because I've got more than one uh, Dyson handheld and the chargers uh, work between the models as far as I know. So that's the charger. Now the, uh, the pole here which is basically a uh, nice uh, red, metallic red uh, aluminium wand which carries the current down here with the wires and you have your connections on there which take your current down to the floor head. It's a nice, uh, quite a wide diameter pole there, and um, you get these in different colours according to what model you've bought in the range. I think the Absolute's orange, uh, the Animal one's uh, silvery grey, but uh, Curry's version of the Total Clean always uses the uh, red so that you know it's a Total Clean version. So that's the pole, and again you can use that to uh, work your carpet heads, and uh, you can also use it for getting up high as well, for extending the reach. So now we're getting on to the main unit itself. So this is basically the um, updated version of the V6. It's uh, bigger than the V6 and a little bit heavier than the V6. It has a runtime of 40 minutes when you are using it basically in minimum mode. It has two modes basically. According to this button here, you have a slide switch which decides whether it's in normal suction which gives you 22 air watts of suction, okay? According to Dyson's uh, website, it's 22 air watts in normal. But then you can slide it across here to maximum power, and then you get 115 air watts 
so it's substantially more powerful in high. So the trade-off with that is that if you want it in max power, which gives you uh, an air wattage of 115, when I compare it to the light ball uh, mains power, which is about 100 air watts, this is more powerful than a mains cleaner. But the downside is it'll only run for seven minutes. So you need to choose carefully or work quickly. It's for stubborn areas of carpet which have got deep, deeply in ground dirt using that max setting. So you wouldn't really need to use that all the time. So most of the time you'd have it on your normal run setting which is 22 air watts and it gives the nice quiet run. And it is, when you, when you turn it on, quite quiet. Now if I turn it on to maximum, you can hear the difference in sound as the motor speeds up. So it's extremely powerful as this machine in max. So the, uh, the way you empty it basically, it uh, uses a similar um, drop down base on the bottom of the bin. Now what I'm going to have to do uh, to do this basically is to stand the camera up on the side and then basically what we would have to do uh, I hope this is all caught on the camera okay but you'd, you'd just basically have to pull this lever backwards towards you and uh, then what we do is we lift up okay to that point there which basically there's a rubber squeegee inside here which scrapes the shroud it's a metal shroud and it scrapes all the debris that sticks to the side of the shroud down into the bottom part of the bin and then you pull it up a little bit further and what it does then it drops the bottom open if anything does get lodged in there it's very easy then just to just pull the last little bit out that's usually if you've got long hair if you've got ladies with long hair in the house and any long hairs that get trapped in between this shroud shraper you can just pull it down but basically you haven't got to get your fingers up around there to try and clean the shroud out like you did with the V6. So it's a very, very good improvement uh, on the V6. And then when you've uh, emptied that, you would just push it down all the way and close the bottom up. It's as simple as that. So that's the emptying process. Um, it has got a uh, slightly larger battery than the, the V6, so it does stick a little bit further back. It's a tiny little bit heavier in the hand, but uh, most people complained that the bin was too small on the V6 and it didn't run for long enough, so they've made the bin bigger. It's a 0.54 litre capacity bin on this machine, and uh, the battery runs, as I say, 40 minutes in normal mode with just basically a non-motorised tool on the end, such as this. Okay? So, that's will run for 40 minutes like this and if you put it in maximum with that on the end it's about seven minutes so any of these tools like I say with the non-motorized will run for the 40 but as soon as you start putting your motorized heads on with this head here which you can uh, connect onto directly onto the machine like so that will then run for 30 minutes Okay, because you are putting an extra electrical appliance on the end of here. This runs off the battery as well. All of these electric floor heads draw power off the battery. So as well as the suction motor, it's got to power this as well. So that 40 minutes is then going to, get, is going to come down. It's going to come down to 30 minutes with this. It's a 20 watt floor head, a 20 watt uh, power head this is. And this basically, this is one you use for doing your stairs or your upholstery with or doing the car. It's a pretty good head is this, and when I do my demonstration, and in a little bit, um, what we'll be doing is showing this working. But um, this basically is a video showing the features, what comes in the box, and uh, describing how the machine works. As in previous videos, the next video that I do will be the pickup tests. Okay, so that's the uh, mini electric floor head, like so. Then with this floor head on, which is the fluffy head, it can attach directly to the machine, like so, although I don't see why you'd want to use it like this, but it will attach to the uh, machine like this, and the head will spin. This is a 20 watt floor head as well, so you will get 30 minutes of runtime with this floor head on, okay? 
So not the 40, I'll get 30 minutes according to Dyson's uh, instructions. Right. This floor head, this is the carpet head, it's more powerful than this. It's got a 50 watt motor, this has, okay? So this, when you clip it on there, it will go, as I say, onto the end of here. Some people say you can do your stairs like this, but I think, no, it's too, too, too awkward to do your, head, do your stairs with this. It's solely, really, a carpet head. Uh, or, you could, as I say, you can use it on hard floors, but your run time is brought down, when you use this, to 25 minutes, because it's a 50 watt floor head. So rather than the 40, you're getting 25. Now the V6 with this head on, my V6 Absolute had the same 50 watt power head, that only ran for 15 minutes. So you're getting the extra 10 minutes with the V8 with that floor head. It's got some serious power, that floor head, for really digging into the carpet pile. Again, I, I recommend these on sort of short to medium pile carpets. I think they'd probably struggle a little bit on longer pile rugs or shag. Uh, I think most Dysons really, they seem to be better on, on short pile uh, and medium pile. Okay, so that's that floor head there. What time have we got now? We've got about eight minutes left here. So, um, what we can also do, I'm going to just uh, now stick this camera back on the top. So you've got you've got your you've got your floor head basically, and you've got your um, rod. And what you can do to set it up for, 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 uh, for floor use is to stick your rod in. It'll only go in one way round. So we stick this in like so, uh, and then we would put our floor head on. Like this. And that's now set up for carpet use. And you can have it either in low power. Or for that extra boost on dirtier carpets, maximum, which is like this. But bear in mind, if you're using it, with that set, I'm just going to make sure that that camera is focused down onto the floor properly here. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you've only got basically on max seven minutes of use with that floor head on. So I would suggest, I mean, seven minutes you can get a couple of rooms done in seven minutes. It's really for, you know, if you only use the cleaner once a week, that uh, your carpets were a bit dirtier than uh, what they would be if you used it on a regular basis, like every couple of days then you could use the maximum. If you wanted to give the carpet a deeper clean, you'd use the maximum. But you've got to bear in mind that at this stage, the battery technology doesn't exist that's going to give you longer than that sort of uh, time using that sort of power, because this is an extremely powerful motor in here. The V8 develops 115 air watts on max, so it drains that battery fairly rapidly. The V6 is worse. That's only 15, sorry, yeah, that's six minutes. So I know it's marginally better, but you have got more power here. Okay. So that's, um, that's it with the floor head attached. But then this pole, as I say, you can put on the, let's say we can put the flexible uh, crevice tool on with a little dusting brush on the end. We can stick that on the end of the wand, put this in, and then we can put this onto the cleaner. And then, because it's what they call, uh, it's like, uh, they call it Archimedes principle or something, of balance. When it's in your hand, it's quite balanced because the battery is underneath your hand and the motor is sort of on top. So it's not being weighed down. If you have the Shark Duo Clean, the handle's right at the back and everything's in front of your hand. So literally you're holding it like this and it's dragging your hand down. They're very front heavy. With the Dyson here, it's not anywhere near as heavy to hold it with the wand on like this, outstretched as it would be with the shark. You would really feel the pull down on the front of the cleaner and it would really, really strain your wrist. On this one, it's not so bad. It's more of it, I mean, it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a heavy machine for a handheld, don't, don't get me wrong, but it's more balanced, it's more ergonomic. So you can add the wand on with the long tool and then use that to go and dust around all 
your covings to get all your cobwebs down basically. You can use it for doing your light, I mean you can't see this on the camera but you can get it, all the light, uh, the light fittings and the cobwebs off them using this. And you can also use it to go um, around your low areas like so, to do down the skirting boards for instance. So having this long attachment on the end with the long rod gives you a very, very long reach on here. And again, that extends even further, like so. So if you've got particularly high ceilings, look at the length and the reach you've got on there. And it's not bad at all to hold like this. I mean, I can hold it like that and pretty much no problem. Ladies might find it a little bit more of a struggle, but this is much easier to hold than a shark would be, or a vax, because they're all very front heavy. Okay? So, as I say, you can really, really use that to get up high. And it will go down all your nooks and crannies with this on the end. I mean, if you didn't want to use this tool, we could unclip it and we could put this dusting brush on instead. And it serves the same purpose, really. It's just a little bit of a bigger brush, but it hasn't got such a long of a reach. And again, you can use that to get up high with. Now, this uh, up top tool that comes with it, what we can do is to stick this swan neck into the top of the rod, like that, and then we put our dusting brush on it, like so, and it gives you that configuration. So, let me just take the camera here. Uh, what we can do, we can see the top of the rod there, is if I wanted to dust then, let's say on top of that unit, I could go like that. So that's where you get the term, the opt top tool from. So you can do, and then you could say, do along the top of your uh, mirror frames, picture frames. Like so. You could do along the top of, uh, let's say something's high like this and it gets covered in dust on the top. You can do it on the top of your curtain rails. There's the curtain rail there. I mean, look how dusty that is on the top of there. Like so. Do it on the top of door frames. This is very, very useful, this uh, up top tool. So, like I say, another picture frame. Nice uh, reach on there. Like so. So, there you can see the versatility of that. Okay, now, remove this, what we need to do then for, um, I'm going to do another video following this, don't worry, with the uh, pickup test and everything on, this is really it's sort of a bit of a demo with the machine. So to clean your filters on this one, which Dyson recommend you do every month, okay, remove the filter out the top, and what I would do is to stick it in a bowl of water, or fill your base up, stick that in, let it all soak in, and then you turn it upside down, fill this up with water, turn it upside down, and pull it out of the water. Because basically all the dirt goes inside this filter, not on the outside. It sucks from the inside out. So although it looks clean on the outside, all your dirt's going to be inside it. So you need to fill it with water, lift it out of the sink, let all the water and the crap come out of the filter, into the water, put it in again, repeat it several times, so all the crap that's inside it comes out of the bottom. That's the pre-motor, then you've got one on the exhaust. That's got the pleated filter in it, like so, the HEPA filter. And you again soak that in the water in the sink. Take it in and out a few times upside down, rinse it all out and dry it for 24 hours, like they do with other machines. The um, bin you can take off. But I will go into that in another video. Uh, I might do a little uh, video on its own about how you would uh, do the cleaning on this machine. It is possible to remove the cyclone unit completely and remove the bin completely from the front. Okay, but that's a little bit more involved and we'll go into that in another video. But basically, there's you look at your overview there of the machine, um, what it can do. And then if you stay tuned, on the next video we will have the pickup tests and we'll see how well it picks up off the carpets and hard floors. So, until then, bye for now.